In this multi-week experiment, you will synthesize the transition metal complex vanadyl bisacetoacetonate and purify it by recrystallization from hot acetonitrile. A percent yield is determined for your product, vanadyl bisacac, and an IR taken of this compound. The prefix bis is used to denote the presence of two bidentate acac ligands in this transition metal complex. You will dissolve your purified vanadyl bisacac in a series of solvents and then determine their relative strengths as Lewis bases by comparing the UV vis of your product dissolved in each solvent. You will eventually measure the magnetic susceptibility of a solid sample of vanadyl bisacetoacetonate to determine the number of unpaired electrons that are present in this complex. Three weeks are scheduled to complete all of this lab work and turn in your write-up. During the first week, you will synthesize and recrystallize vanadyl bisacac, and if your product is dry, take an IR. During the second week, you will dissolve a small amount of your product in five different solvents and take a UV vis spectrum of each resulting solution. The lambda max is an indication of the Lewis base strength of the solvent involving the formation of a dative bond between an available electron pair on the solvent and the sixth coordinating position of the VO bis acac. Magnetic susceptibility measurements of a few select student products will be completed by your TA during the second week, and your TA will give everyone these measurements. All experimental work must be completed by the end of the second week of this experiment, and during the third week you will turn in your lab write-up. Vanadium is a transition metal since it is an element with an incomplete D subshell and can form cations which also have an incomplete D subshell. Vanadium exhibits oxidation states ranging from 0 to plus 5, and in acidic or basic solution can be bonded to one or more oxygen atoms. The ionization energy increases with the successive removal of valence electrons with the removal of the 4s electrons preceding the 3d electrons. The most common oxidation states of vanadium are plus 2 through plus 5. The most prevalent industrial use of vanadium is the production of sulfuric acid, one of the top industrial chemicals worldwide, and as a strengthening component of steel alloys. Vanadium also finds applications as a component in anodes of lithium-ion batteries, a coating on glass to block IR radiation, and in a mixture used to produce superconductive magnets. Acetoacetone exhibits tautomerism and readily converts between the keto and anol structural isomers. This bidentate ligand can be deprotonated by a strong Lewis base, and several resonance forms of the resulting conjugate base stabilize this minus one anion. The Lewis base characteristics of this ligand result from the non-bonded electron pairs on each oxygen atom, which can be used to form dative bonds in a transition metal complex. VO bisacac is a five coordinate transition metal complex. Two structural geometries that have five bonded electron pairs surrounding a central atom are trigonal bipyramidal and square pyramidal. The structure of the VO bisacac complex is square pyramidal. There are two distinct vanadium oxygen bond lengths in this complex. The axial VO bond length is much shorter than the VO bonds involving the acac ligands. This shorter distance strongly implies multiple bond character for this axial bond, and the vanadium ion is positioned above the geometric plane formed by the four oxygen atoms in the acac ligands. The coordinating position opposite the VO axial bond is vacant and can accept one monodentate ligand to form a six coordinate complex. Vanadium is added to the reaction mixture using the compound vanadium pentoxide. Vanadium is reduced from plus 5 to plus 4 by ethanol and the presence of sulfuric acid, with the primary product VOSO4, or vanadyl sulfate, formed in this reaction. The oxidation state of vanadium greatly affects its color, as shown below in separate vials containing vanadium in different oxidation states. Only the plus 5 and plus 4 oxidation states are present in your reaction mixture, and you should see a reaction mixture color transition from orange to green, 
then to bluish green, and finally to blue during the reaction. Vanadyl sulfate is then reacted with acetyl acetone in the presence of the strong base carbonate. Carbonate deprotonates acetyl acetone to form the minus one anion acetyl acetate, which then complexes with VO2 plus and forms the product VO bisacac. The product VO bisacac is not soluble in water, and the byproducts are either gaseous or soluble in aqueous solution. When recrystallizing your product, remember to use a minimal amount of hot organic solvent. The infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum is very useful in structure elucidation since it interacts in a non-destructive manner with a large variety of bonds that are present in molecules. This region of infrared interaction is large enough to distinctly identify categories of functional groups, and these wavelengths of interaction vary slightly due to the number and type of bonded atoms that are adjacent to the functional groups. Motions that bonds typically undergo when absorbing IR radiation fall into the general categories of bending and stretching vibrations, and animated representations of each of these is shown below. Some points to consider when interpreting the VO bisacac IR spectrum are emphasized here. The axial VO absorption shifts when attaching a basic ligand to the six coordinating position. The VO stretch involving the oxygen and the ACAC ligand is outside the range of our lab instruments, so it will not be observed. The dative bond affects the CO stretch and the ACAC ligand and is different from either a CO double bond stretch or a CO single bond stretch. The functional group absorptions in uncomplexed acetyl acetone are likely different from the corresponding absorptions found in this ligand when it is complexed with vanadium and VO bisacac. Some bonds in VO bisacac will have multiple assignments. The presence of contaminants can add unanticipated peaks in your IR. Solvents are a typical source of these unwanted absorptions. You will eventually want to compare the visible spectra of VO bisacac dissolved in several solvents. Any change in both lambda maxes and the visible spectra with solvent shows the effect of different Lewis base strength of the solvent. The magnetic susceptibility can be used to determine the number of unpaired electrons in VO bisacac.